Hi, you guys. Um, it is Monday, May 11th. Can't read 11 very well, but it is indeed the 11th. Um, we only have two weeks left. Can you believe it? You're almost there. Um, we are in the home stretch, but I'm here to tell you, I, I just got done doing grades and most of you are passing, but there are many that are close. You've got to get your work in this last two weeks, okay? If you are having problems, you need to let me know. Don't just say, ah, oh, it's okay if I don't pass this one. We need you to pass this quarter. And so I need everyone to try their best. We've got literally like eight days of work, right? Maybe not even that because of field day? I don't know. Anyway, I don't think that's all day. But you've got eight days. Let's go with that. You gotta get this done. Okay, you can do it. I, I have faith in you. You just have to try. Um, so there are some things you can do. You can be, just like always, asking me questions over um, the internet. You can, um, you can email me. I get an email notice if you send a comment over comments, whether it's public or private. Um, or an email, so I'll get them both the same way. We can do a private Zoom call to go over things that you're not understanding. Um, let me know if there's something that I can do to help you, okay? Um, it seems to be off-putting when you see that you've made a mistake. Not sure why. So I have not put any of the answers in any of the forms, so you just enter your answers. Um, and that hopefully will help people. Um, what else? I think that's about it. So let's get started with our prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. As we pray together, teach me, God, to add love and mercy towards others, to subtract sin and anxiety from my life, to multiply the fruits of the Holy Spirit, and to divide our differences as I share with others acts of mercy today. Uh, let's go ahead and add in your intentions that you would like us to pray for. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for all those who are sick or suffering. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for all of those who have lost people that they love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer, and that everyone will do well this last two weeks. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. All right, there are um, two things we're doing today, and they're both very related. Um, one is the area of a triangle, one half times base times height. The other is area of a parallelogram, which is related it's just base times height. It's kind of like double a triangle. It actually is double the triangle. Um, so let's look at triangles first, okay? Um, so there are a couple different kinds of triangles we're gonna look at. The first one is a right angle. And if we know that this is three, this is six, and this is 10, what do we know? What's, what's the base? What's the height? How do we know which is which? Well, height always runs perpendicular. That means straight up and down at a right angle to the base. So you don't see... Now, if they had done something like this and then done a right angle there, that's totally different. And you will see some like that. Um, but this one has the right angle here. This happens to be a right triangle. So we know our height is three and where the height touches, where it forms a right angle, that's the base. So I'm gonna do area equals one half times base, that's six, times height, that's three. Now here's how I would do this, you guys. I would multiply my base and height and then take half of that or divide it by two. Area equals 6 times 3, that's 18. What's half of 18? 9. And it's going to be, let's say this is meters. 
it's going to be meters squared. And as you know, when you write that in the forms, you're going to have to write M2 because we can't do the squared sign up here like normal. All right. A um, couple of, of other things. Um, I hope that you are continuing to write these in your notebooks because that's extremely important. Um, I hope that <clears throat> you are continuing to do your table of contents because that is extremely important. And I hope that you are continuing to take notes here. The last thing that um, I need to remind you about is that you need to be doing your work on a piece of paper and then entering that in. I have had a number of people say all of a sudden um, my computer went on the fritz and um, I had typed everything in and then I hit submit and it was just gone. If you haven't done this on a piece of paper, what a bummer for you. You have to do the entire thing again. If you do, as I say every day, do this on a separate piece of paper, you have all your work and just boom, 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 write in what you got. So make sure you're doing this work on a separate piece of paper. All right, um, let's say I have a triangle that looks like this. This is not a right angle. And so what you're gonna see is that they will write in the height. Let's say this is two centimeters. This is 12 centimeters. This is four and this is eight. How do I know what to do? Can you guys see that? Hopefully you can see that really well. All right, here's my height because it is at a right angle. My height is two. So I'm gonna do area equals where the height touches at a right angle, that's my base. So it's 12 times two times a half. I could have done my one half first, but it's fine. Um, remember I said do base times height first. 12 times two is 24 and then take half of that that is 12, so it is 12 centimeters squared. That is the area of my, sorry, I gotta get this out of the way. Okay, that's the area of my triangle. What if they had written it like this? Sorry, that doesn't look right. Um, oh, wow, that's not gonna. Or let's do a different kind of one here. Um, okay, let's say they make that. Then I've got six, four, and eight. And this is five. All right. What am I going to do? Area equals one half times the base. Well, here's my height. And here's where it meets at a right angle. So my base is 4 times my height, which is 5. 4 times 5 is 20. So my area is half of 20, which is 10. And let's say this is inches. So it would be 10 inches squared. All right? It is very cut and dry. This one is not a difficult one. Let's move over to parallelograms. Okay, so remember a parallelogram looks like this. And none of these are straight up and down. That's the whole, that's like the hallmark of a parallelogram, right? It's like somebody stepped on a, a rectangular box and went, and it's sad. So you're going to have to always see a height written in. What do you know about this and this? Bases that are um, that are opposite of each other, they're equal, right? What do you know about this and this? They're equal. So if I'm taking my base times my height, it is the same thing as over here. Whatever the height is, it meets the base at a right angle, okay? So when you see the height written in, that means that you know this is the base. It runs between the two bases. So let's say they give me this is six, this is five, and this is four. What do I need to know? Base times height. So my base here is six because it runs between the height. The height runs into it. So six times my height, which is five. This is 30. 
that's yards, so 30 yards squared. This one is pretty simple. Um, let's say they give me one, and this time they don't say what this is down here. They give me um, three and a half, and they say it's 10 up here and six over here. Well, it doesn't give me my base, but I know that these two bases, these two are sides are exactly the same. So if this is 10, what is the base where it meets? 10. So my area is going to be 10 times three and a half times a half. I don't know why I said that because that would be a triangle. It is just base times height. Sorry, 10 times three and a half. If I were you, I would probably change this to 3.5 because when I move it by one, it's going to move that over. That is going to be 35. All right. Now, you are going to see some things where, let me just check in your book. Um, I don't know that I see any that are... I think we're good. I think I think if you come up with something like that, you can do ten times three and a half, but but most of it um, you can change into a, a decimal, and it should be pretty easy. All right. The only other thing is the last two, which I think I gave as extra credit. They give you the area, but not something else, so they don't give you the height. So let's say they say uh, area is 435 and the base is um, 15. What's the height? Well, what's my formula? I should have written A equals here. Um, if my area equals base times height, then I can put area over where area is, 435, equals base, which is 15, times height, which I don't know. Now I'm just doing a regular equation. 15h, how would I um, get h by itself? Well, it's 15 times h, so I do the opposite, and I divide by 15. So H would equal, 15 goes into this two times, ugh, 15 into 135 is um, maybe nine times, no, let's see. I should have done something that I knew easily here. It's 27, nope, that's gonna be, um, I don't know why I was multiplying. It was 9 into that anyway. Um, so 15, it would be 15 times 9. This is cook. 9 times 5 is 5, 4. Yep. Okay, it goes 9 times. So 29. If you want to use a calculator, you can. Now, if they would give you this as like inches squared, inches. And so this is going to be inches, not inches squared because it's just the height. So I'll just divide it by whatever my base is or whatever my height is to find the opposite. Same thing with this. If they gave me um, area equals um, 24 and my base equals 4, what would my height be? Well, you got to remember, you got to follow your rule, your formula. If this is a triangle this time, area equals one half base times height. So I'm going to fill it in. 24 goes where area is, equals one half times the base, which is four, times height. So 24 equals, what's one half times four? Half of four is two, so 2h. Two so 2 into 24 goes. 12 times, so my height is 12 inches or yards or feet, whatever, meters, whatever it was that they gave me. Okay, 
You're only going to find those at the very end. Most of it is just finding area. So you're going to be multiplying. Okay. Write this down. It's super helpful to write it down. One half base times height if you're doing triangles. Parallelograms area equals base times height. Fill in what you know. Answer what you don't know. Okay. I think that um, you will find this assignment to be a lot easier. You may use a calculator. Um, do your best. Have fun with it. Don't forget to smile and do something nice for yourself today. All right. Bye.